Yeah, welcome along to the uh, Laobai Contractor Stadium in Surat. It is eliminator time. It's the Gujarat Giants up against the India Capitals. Party Patel up against Gautam Gambia. I was out in the middle with the two captains and Party Patel of the Gujarat Giants. Well, he won the toss, decided to have a ball first. Uh, quite a lot of changes for the Giants. Five changes they've made. Obviously, he's back as captain. Jacques Callis at the top. Obviously, uh, Chris Gale will be back as the impact player. So out goes uh, Drew Ravel, Chirag Turana, Elton Chigumbura, Trent Johnston and Monty Panasar. In comes Levy, Kellis, Party Patel, Batia and Emirates. And just one change for the Capitals. Tambe out, Pande in. But this is going to be a cracker of a game. Yeah. Suresh Reiner, a good uh, combination. And your team is performing. And this man will hope that his team can perform tonight, Party Patel. Gujarat Giants, who were perhaps unlucky not to be in that top two. Rain out in Vizak mean that they just slipped to third, which means they have to take on this eliminator. The bowling in the power plate, similar to how your opener did last night for Gautam Gambia back in Ranchi, that seems a while ago. Riot Emirates rested in that last game, that win over the superstars nice start how important is this start for both sides in this power play very important doesn't matter about your release position when somebody does that to you just probably have to be checked whether this goes straight into the cushioning and whether this is six trying to negate whatever swing there was and finds the middle of the bat great bit of timing you don't need power when you have that sort of timing as well straight away under pressure Chowdhury into the attack nice shot that is better from Kirk Edwards just a little chip and flies it all the way just a little shimmy down the track oh, it had to be looking to put some pressure bowling change trying to make a move now that's straight, but probably just sliding down. Sri Sand thinks it's out, he thinks everything's out. Kirk Edwards was advancing down. Partiv likes it. Partiv Patel likes it. And they're going to have a little conflab here. Two experienced. Yes, yeah, ended upstairs. Now he's in front of all three. You can see leg stump. I still think angle. I think angle. I think your point is good. Pretty close, though. Yeah, good decision. Now, Kirk Edwards doesn't get hold of it. Kevin O'Brien does get hold of it. He's got buckets. Lada loves it. A much needed wicket for the Gujarat Giants. Well, great bowling because Lada is not afraid to get the ball above the eye line. Really good catch. Superb. Kirk Edwards got to go for 26. Partnership was good. 65 for one. As is always the case, you get beaten with a beautiful leg spinner. What do you do as a batter? You run down the pitch, you don't let it turn. And what a beautiful strike that is. Straight down the fairway. I mean, over the bowler's head. Well, the footwork was so good here because he has to readjust right at the last minute. Sixes. The Englishman's in the game. I think he's going to have to go into the pitch here. KP is ticking. Yeah, look how he picks the bat up. Picks the bat up with real vengeance and then extends the arms so he gets maximum leverage. Brilliant power and head is so still on impact. With Kevin Peterson, anything could happen. Put down. Tough catch there for Sarabjit Lada on the boundary. Another sheer power 
And Kevin Peterson, now that he's uh, faced 14 deliveries, he'd be looking to tee off as well. Beaten. Beaten in uh, flight. That's a big wicket for the Gujarat side. The danger man, Kevin Peterson, has to walk back to the dugout. Brave in a way, but like you've said, get it wide at times, get it wide. And then batters have to try and chase it. So a good piece of uh, bowling. Bright and breezy innings from Kevin Peterson comes to an end. 26 from 15, it's 105 for two. Allowed the ball to spin a bit. That's a great bit of timing that. In the gap and uh, gets to his half century in style. Shimmy down the track. Picks it from outside off stump all around the ground. Second 50, if I'm correct, in the competition for Skipper Gambi. In the air. Good catch. Richard Levy diving forward. And Gambia has to go. Watch the length. Length has been key. And a great catch. Never easy when the ball's dying on you. Shishan's got a smile, but it's a big wicket. Radham Gambir walks back to the dugout. Well made, 51 of 30. Important over. An important start. Does he get enough? Yes. Ben Dunk just clears. It was calm before the storm. Previous over going for seven. It's a good thought by Sarabjit Lada to look to bowl wide outside of someone. That must have been Parthi Patel, but a great bit of timing. It's does he get enough? Does he get it over Kevin O'Brien? You bet he does. Into the breeze. It's over long off and started in similar fashion. Through the line, Man Dunk. Slight error in length. With wickets in hand on a surface like that, you're looking to get 230. Shots like that will help. Back to back maximums for Ben Dunk. Watch a little fake and then he stays, waits, waits for the lack of pace and then helps it on its way. Back to back sixes. I think this is the over there. The Capitals just think go. Absolutely go. Three in three. Feeling the heat as well, could he do it? Six on a six, this is a surface, you had a great start as well. No, not sure he's got enough, Kevin O'Brien will not drop this, let me tell you. Try to go again for his fourth six. 30 from 10 deliveries, just got the momentum that the Capitals uh, were looking for, inside out and uh, using the width of the crease, uh, good cameo. Of 30 of 10 from Dunk, 155 for four. Putting him under pressure, has he got enough? You bet. All the time in the world, Chipley, great bit of batting there. Long levers. Just using the angle. Ishwar Chaudhary went wide, the crease allowed the ball to get into the body as well, and some fearless batting. Emirates. Whoa, that's a lot of power. It was banged in. Emery in particular earlier was don't bowl length. And he's gone into length. The obvious thing to do, I think, as a bowler. And he's paid the price. Batters are just feeding off that kind of length here at Surat. Oh, it's a lovely, lovely connection. And the swing of the bat, I say it again. Kevin O'Brien can just watch it go over his head and he's not happy with the bowler. On the flattest pitch in India from my perspective is an absolute belter here in Surat. You cannot let the batter get underneath it. You've got to be going whole. Wide Yorkers using the crease, as Dominic Cork said, being predictable into length. Now Kevin O'Brien is in the deep. Kevin O'Brien doesn't miss many. It's a hat-trick for O'Brien. Three catches in the deep. India loves them, and he loves India. It's those great big Irish buckets, he doesn't drop any. Yeah, it makes ground and it's nice and secure. Footwork is good. Gone for 35, and the Capitals are going well. 201 for five. No timing. Richard Levy. Yeah, right there, searching for that wide Yorker. That is right on the cusp. 
Is he wearing his trousers fashionable like the kids do these days? Slightly low on the backside. 208 for six after the 19th. What a hit. Spectacular shot from Ashley Nurse. Slashes through the line of the ball and Shreesad, as you said, hasn't missed by much. But that power off the bat of Nurse sends it over the stand for six. 13th maximum to go with 15 fours. Oh, straight down the ground, no timing. Nurse will want two. Rusty throw may give up his wicket. Chance at the keeper's end. The throw is good. I think Ashley Nurse just about gets the engine operating into fourth gear. Front of the stumps drags it on. I think that could have been the difference there. Partid yeah. Patel going old school. Yeah, 2007 that method came in. I remember during the World Cup in the Caribbean, keeper started. You had mixed reviews early on because some fielders felt maybe you were obstructing a direct hit. Not out. Goes length. It's a top edge. Emirates backtracking and Emirates had a really, really good night. First with the ball and now in the field and the Giants are closing this innings out brilliantly. But no matter what the length, Sreesan's thrown it outside off stump. He can't get there. In fact, the only thing he can do is edge it. Top edge it up in the air and smartly taken by Emirates. 219 for seven. Last ball of the innings. Smacks one through extra cover. Skips off this beautiful outfield and a lovely way to finish a very impressive innings from the India Capitals who end up on 223 for seven. Gujarat Giants, they need 224 runs at 11.2 and over to get a chance to play the Manipal Tigers tomorrow. place in qualifier two in the next 20 overs at the Lalbai Contractor Stadium in Surat. Last words from Gautam Gambia. The crowd are right behind both teams. Just the way he gets going. Jacques Callis would probably look to take a couple of deliveries in the power play, but uh, straight away, it's how this left and right combination works for the Gujarat Giants. They set the tempo. Jacques Callis, one of the greatest all-rounders of the game. 207 runs, strike rate. Uh -huh. Impact player Fidel Edwards in place of Kevin Peterson. <laughs> Nicked away. There's no man down there. Listen to the crowd. Just play it. Use the pace, bisect the two fielders, finish the first over off with a boundary. It's 12 without loss. Hit away. Again, gets it in between cover and extra cover. Callis has his first boundary. Doesn't matter if you get swing, he'll just use it. Doesn't need to run. Got great footwork but he's just got the power. No, you can't bowl that. Not to Jack Callis. Late swing. Now, is this leg buys? Is it runs? Leg buys. There you go. Read him like a book. Got to be out. Full and straight given. Good bowling from Edwards, he's gone short, he's gone short again. This time he's gambled full. Edwards advantage, well within the stumps. You can watch Chris at that moment in time. Fidel Edwards was setting up for Jacques Callis, the bouncer. First wicket gone for the Gujarat side. Jacques Callis gets 11, 41 for one. Lovely shot. Lovely loft over the offside. It's not where Richard Levy is really strong. Through on the carpet. Beautiful timing. 
Richard Levy. Last ball of the power play. Mid on inside the ring. Another man deep square leg. Out to deep mid wicket. Over the fence. Richard Levy dominating Rusty Tehran. Power play is done and dusted. This was the last ball of the power play. That's where he's known for. Really leg side, carting it with that bottom hand. No pickup. Extraordinary a player with such power has such a low pickup. Clip leg side, powerfully clipped as well. It's a thick inside edge, but the immense. Down the ground. Did he get a boot? He did! He got his spikes on it. Ishwar in his follow through. Chris Gale smokes it back. And a little toe poke sees the back of Levy. It might have just come off the big toe. Oh, just a stud on it onto middle stump. And Levy is overcommitted out of the crease. Levy gone. Run out for 17. 71 for two. Pulled away, leg side, there is protection. Oh no, subfielder, Mornay van Veek, who's on for Gautam Gambier, I think. Normally has the keeping gloves on, needed the gauntlets. Oh, beautiful timing. Oh, what a good start this is. Don't bother running, Jun Jun Waller, because you're batting with Chris Gale. Chance. Great catch, Ashley Nurse. I mentioned earlier how good a fielder he is, how good a catcher he has always been. And this is a belter, it was smashed. Yeah, very good. Always difficult, those catches that are getting towards you. Sometimes they get to you a little bit quick. Yeah, easy, clean catch. Junja Wallace got it because he was going well. Made 13, 86 for three. In the slot, it's a free hit. Down the ground, we've waited. It's taken 13 overs, but he brings up his 50 in style. The universe boss, he's an entertainer. Gets that for the Gailstorm. Three overs from Ashley Nurse, saw exactly what he was doing. Dances down the track and goes, goes big and goes really big. The very next delivery as well, into the stands. Now he's starting to deliver. He said enough is enough. And again. Three and three for the universe boss. And in the same over, the fourth delivery was a comeback delivery by Roger Bhatia. Can Ashley Nurse do the same? No, he can't. Seriously, big hitting from Chris Gale. One thing on this man's mind right now, six sixes. Up and over the offside, what a beautiful Dorothy Dix. Stunning cricket shot, and when you've got this amount of power at the crease, 11 and overs a walk in the park, and it is just unbelievable. I think anyone with that innings, that 50 runs that Chris Gale scored, the brain would be frazzled, but he just has, as I said earlier, that inner confidence that he can just destroy a team. Gale, placement, three inside the ring behind point. He got a full toss and he just opens the blade. Sliced away, up and over the offside, 50 up for the King of Dublin, the Mayor of Sandy Mount. He loves the Legends League cricket. Another half century to Kevin O'Brien. 17 done. 193 for three. Full toss. Sliced. That feels a massive mistake, but here's the opportunity. Kevin O'Brien's thick edge one up in the air. And it's been caught by Rusty Toronto backward point, and that may be the door op open for the Capitals. They needed a miss hit. They've got a miss hit. Trying to go down the ground, trying to flat bat. May have been better trying to go over his favourite extra cover region. Credit the bowler. Giants are well placed, 201 for four. Or can he do better? He has done better! I thought try and squeeze a single. 
Udana's bowled it in the slot, and Gale has plinked it straight to Ricardo Powell. Back to back wickets. This is there to hit. Right in his zone. He hits them for six in his sleep, and Ricardo Powell is still one of the best fielders in the world, let alone Legends League cricket. Chris Gale, you've been outstanding. You have entertained us thoroughly this evening for your 84 or 55. Back to back wickets, Giants 201 for five. Bowled him off the back pad, and Rusty Tehran gives the confidence and shows the confidence the coach gave him and delivers another killer blow. Adana, I can't speak highly enough for that over. In fact, his whole spell to go for 22 off your four overs on this pitch is a stunning effort. Prasanna on his way, one off of three balls. Slow ball, straight up in the air. What a wonderfully well disguised change up from Rusty Tehran. The Capitals will progress in this competition. And you have to say the way that the bowlers have held their nerve under an onslaught from O'Brien and Gale in particular. Partiv has got to go. Never really got going. One from five. 209 for seven. Last ball. Slap down the ground. Futile in the end. Wonderful from the India Capitals, who for 65 to 70 minutes of that innings were down and out. But in the blink of an eye with... Udana and Tehran, they've got victory from the jaws of defeat and they will progress to play the Manipal Tigers for a chance to retain their trophy. Game played in a good spirit, very competitive, both sides desperate to win and Gale was marvellous. This was the eliminator, the Gujarat Giants are eliminated, Capitals winning by 12 runs and will progress to play the Moneyball Tigers.